What's going on everybody? This is an episode from the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast. Do you like podcasts and you want to see the full podcast? Make sure you check out the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast on all your podcast platforms, such as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, among many others. But you're listening to the episode right here on YouTube, so make sure you hit that like button in below and make sure you hit the subscribe button to NC Studios and NC Level Up for all your gaming needs. This is the Nerd Coalition. Enjoy the show. Real quick, so AEW had, had their for, Forbidden Door. Peep this Q flow. The Forbidden Door had about a million dollar uh, gate. And about 10,000 people. Actually, in the, in the UBS Arena, it's saying that it was about 11,000 people in there. Mm. I think you got to give credit where credit is due. Yeah. This is in uh, in my uh, th- this is the the UBS Arena in Edmond Edmond New York or mm-hmm. Edmont New York. Yeah. Uh, they was in New York, um, and people been talking so much shit about AEW, and to some extent, rightfully so. Or rightfully so. Yeah. Yes, but once again. They had their lowest dynamite last week at uh, 502,000 people, which they did jump back up, you know, uh, the week after that. And I knew, I, I was scared because Forbidden Door is like, you know, we, we, it's not a, a show that has a storyline to it. It's just, you know, throwing some New Japan people in there. And if you're not, if you're a casual wrestling fan, you don't really care about New Japan pro wrestling. Well, I have mm-hmm. to say this, man. Look, I thought the show, from what I saw, was decent, was was good, and I also think I'm I'm happy for them that they was able to put they, they put eleven thousand people in that arena, and they had a million dollar gate. So, for those who think Forbidden Door is going somewhere or AEW is going to die tomorrow and stuff like that, they're not. But they they got a down thing going on right now. Which seeing that for for, for Forbidden Door is making me hopeful that they won't drop too much. For Wembley Stadium, yeah, I, I, I'm looking at it like this: if they can just get fifty thousand people in Wembley Stadium, I, I look at it as a win. Cause that they're, they're not going to get the eighty thousand they had last year, but if they can at least get to fifty thousand people, I think they should look at that as a win. Mm-hmm. As I think they should really look at that as a win. So. Well, forbidden door happened. I'm just going over the results real quick. I'm not going. Uh, obviously, I didn't see any of zero hour other than that. Uh, AKA my, my girl, my girl Thicky, with Will Nightingale. Well, yeah, yeah, and her, her part of uh, Tam Nakato. Uh, they defeated Chris Statlander and uh, Mobo Watanabe. And because y'all know I have bad time pronouncing these Japanese well, names. Be. Yeah, uh, but the the, the only ma- match I truly really cared about in the pre-show was Mariah May advanced in the Owen Hart Cup tournament, and she defeated Soraya. So Mariah May who has been getting killed on Twitter. Soraya. Yes. What What did she do? They oh, do no. not like her. Her boyfriend says some like uh, homophobic and transphobic stuff. Yeah, and she tried like she defended it, but she tried to do a my boyfriend's not transphobic; he has trans friends type of. Oh, that yeah, kind of shit. Uh huh. They have been kicking her ass on so her and MJF, but MJF for a different reason. Okay, well, MJF they, is because he's a heel. No. Oh, what it this, me the whole thing the whole thing with um well it's political I don't know if we want to get into it oh we, we gotta get to it but you can side I'll, yeah I'll side yeah I'll side note it when we get off okay yeah um so what, what uh what we had going on here is uh MJF de- de- defeated uh Hen Serio I don't know who that is it wasn't really much of a big match. I knew MJF was going to win that matchup. The Elite, uh, which is Matt, Nick Jackson, 
and Okada defeat the Acclaim with uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi. Brian Danielson defeated Shingo Takagi, which I heard was a really good matchup, but Brian Danielson is going to advance. It, that, that was an Owen Hart Cup first round match, so yes, he def, that, that was he, Brian Danielson won that one. T Timeless Tony Storm defeated Mina Soraka. I, I, once again, please forgive me. Please forgive me. I, I, I am not good at saying the Japanese names because that's what Prime is good at. That's why you, know, <laughs> you watch more Japanese wrestling than I do. But uh, Mar 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 Mariah May was uh, at ringside for both supporting both participants. And then afterwards, they gave a triple kiss in the middle of the ring. All right. So, woo woo. Zack Sabre Jr. defeated Orange Cassidy by submission. Prime doesn't care because he can't stand Zack Sabre Jr., but still, <laughs> still a hell of a wrestler, though. Then he had a trios match. Samoa Joe, Hook, and Shibata defeated the Learning Tree. Jericho, Big Bill, and Jeff Cobb. So, seeing Jeff Cobb and Samoa Joe in the same ring is something great. Oh, Brian Keith was out there also. He wasn't in the matchup, but. Yeah, uh, they won the matchup. Uh, they had Mercedes Monet defeat Stephanie uh, Valquier for the. Uh, it was a winner take all match for the AWTB Championship and the N uh, NJPW Strong Women's Championship. If anybody has been following wrestling, following when Mercedes Monet got out into the business, I mean, got out of the and was 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 doing her little world tour. This is the belt that she was supposed to win. Mm. And she got well, injured. Uh, uh, in New Japan, but she got hurt? Yeah, she got hurt, and they gave everybody, her... Everybody everybody getting on her, because literally, the day, like, both, like hours before the pay-per-view started, yeah, they dropped a clip of her interview, and she was telling everybody how um, she was granted uh, creative control. For wow. herself, so they like, yo, you got creative control and immediately gave yourself a title. <laughs> Is it? I mean, well, what would Hogan do? You know, so uh, they they put the belt on Willow Nightingale. So this was the belt that Mercedes was always supposed to win. There was no doubt in my mind that she was going to win this belt, and she did win the belt. But even mm -hmm. with so winning the uh, NG. NJPW Strong Women's Championship, we had a return come at the end of the matchup. And it was Dr. Britt Baker, D M D. D. And she, and from this past Dynamite, like I said, we're recording this on Wednesday night. So on Dynamite tonight, she came out and, uh, well, she was out there first and then Mercedes came out there. And they, they had like a little celebration. They made them put the balloon stuff up. But Britt Baker just cut to the chase and said she wants a match with her at All In. So it looks like uh, we're getting. I don't see if she's accepted or not, but I'm pretty sure you want to put the the money match on there. So Britt Baker taking on Mercedes Monet at All In. That 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 should be quite fun. I guess for the TBS Championship. And I'm pretty sure if things go right, we're going to get Mariah May versus Tony Storm. For that AEW Women's Championship. That's why I'm thinking for the, the women's matches so far at Wembley Stadium. Mm. Can be it. Uh, John Moxley lost his championship to Naito, which I figured was going to happen because New Japan gave Moxley the belt for about a couple months. And it's like, yeah, it's time to get that shit back. I think he's going to put it back on Naito, but they did put it back on Naito. And it's like, okay, yeah, he can stop going around with the, with the New Japan. You know, championship now. It's back. It's back in New Japan, and the main event was Swerve Strickland taking on Will Ospreay, which you knew these guys were gonna put on a good match. First of all, Swerve did a double foot stop from the top rope to the outside onto Will Ospreay, almost through at the announce table. Ah. Oh yeah, I think I saw that actually. <clears throat> that that's how much they was fighting each other out there. It was insane. It was insane. So, I would as if y'all get a chance, I would definitely tell y'all go out there and go watch uh, Forbidden Door. I'm I'm excited for All In because All In is on August 25th, 
that's their that's their that's their next show. And as of right now, after what happened tonight on Dynamite, which I I just talk about this real quick here, Hangman Page came back. This is going to be as soon as he came back and ent- and he entered into the Owen and he and he won his first round match. I'm like he's going to win the whole damn thing because with the winner, just like King of the Ring, the winner here at the Owen gets title shots at All In, and they're going to do they're going to go back to Swerve and Adam Page again, and Adam Page is going to win that championship because. For those who remember, Swerve was a heel when him and Adam Page had had the rivalry going on. All right. Yep. So yeah. Yep. So and then Swerve, you know, he was uh in Adam Page's house. He he, he attacked him in his house, and they had a little problem with him in, in that broken up house by himself. I don't know if he moved the family out or where the case may be, but Adam Page, he's come back for that. And I'm like, now let me tell you something. On, at first, people may think like, "Well, this match is not a Wimby Stadium match, but this match got heat, though." This rivalry between him and Swerve got heat, and they they can't have a bad match. All three of their matches have been excellent, so I can definitely see. Hey, Adam Page put over Swerve. He like three di- three different times. I'm pretty sure Adam Page will get that championship back at all in. And for, get it from Swerve, and then they're gonna continue having the rivalry. So yes, I think that's what's gonna happen there. I think we still can get Mercedes Monet and Britt Baker. We get MJF and Will Ospreay because MJF <coughs> they had a um, Owen match with Danny Garcia and Will Ospreay tonight, and he was in the corner of Danny Garcia trying to be you know all supportive of him, but then Danny mm-hmm. Garcia didn't want to use the ring, and he lost to Will Ospreay. MJF turned on him. And they got him all bloodied up and everything. Got a blood on his shirt. And be, be a straight dickhead MJF. <laughs> straight dickhead MJF, which pe- people gravitate towards. Uh, gravitate towards. But like, I ain't talking about the little bullshit with Adam Cole. I'm talking about straight dickhead MJF. Right. So, him versus Will Ospreay. Lord, that's going to be a match. Because I don't think Adam Cole is ready to come back. You know, to wrestle just yet. He may be walking around, but I don't think he's ready to come back and wrestle just yet. Because that's the match I would think I would do at Wembley Stadium. Him versus Adam Cole. Because of that, yeah. that rivalry. But since that's not the case, him versus Will Ospreay. Because Will Ospreay tried to come back out and help out Danny Garcia after the match was over. Because they had a 13-minute overrun tonight on Dynamite. For real? Yeah, they didn't go off until 10-13. Ooh. Yeah, so they had 13-minute overrun to go, uh, doing this storyline. Then Blood and Guts is coming up. Uh, the, the Young Bucks asked Adam Page you need the fifth guy and Adam Page said no nah, I, I gotta win the Owen he he, he got he got bigger fish fry. he got his eyes on Swerve he got he, he said I'm not your puppet anymore so mm-hmm. I don't know what they're gonna uh, what the team is gonna be for blood and guts to go up against the elite and what they're doing but I'm shit if Kenny Omega is healthy and his surgery went well I, we, we ain't hear anything but shit him versus Okada at all in yeah. So like, Wait, what's wrong with uh, Omega? Diverticula- diverticulitis. I diverticulitis. Mean. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. He, right. Yeah. He's a. Uh, he was. He, he was in bad shape, but he needed to get like emergency surgery. He had to go to like, some one of the best surgeons in the world to you know to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This. Get that looked at. Yeah. So. Yeah. So he said he's, he's been out for a while dealing with that. I don't know what the status of. It's going to be for him. Like I said, right now, that's their next pay per view. We don't have no pay per views in between. That's August 25th. That means you have a month. That's, that's Wembley? Huh? That's Wembley? Yes. Okay. You have a month and three weeks to build this shit. All right? So y'all, y'all, y'all got to build it, put some heat behind these matches so they can sell them tickets. And like I said, I'm going to, I, I, I'm hoping that it's, it's about. Fifty thousand. If they can at least get to fifty thousand people, I look at it as a win. 